The inevitable result of chronic resentment or anger in relationships is really both partners walking on eggshells. But one is continually trying to avoid a punishing response from the other. The punishing response can be loud or silent, overwhelming or stonewalling, name calling, or very subtle messages that you're not good enough, unworthy, a failure. You begin to self-edit what you say and do, second guess what you've said or done, contort yourself to meet expectations and demands, and eventually you lose yourself. Walking in eggshells is, is an habituated pattern of interactions. In other words, it's running on autopilot. And it cannot be changed through insight. Healing requires practice to develop new habits. Now, the effects on children of walking on eggshells are depression, but that looks different in children. It's not, they don't sit around weeping and looking uh, morose. Uh, it looks more like chronic boredom. Children naturally have a sense of, of interest and enjoyment and curiosity. If they're not interested in things that children are normally interested in, they may very well be depressed. Anxiety or worry, especially worry about things that children don't normally worry about, like whether their parents are getting along or they're going to get through the evening without some kind of cold shoulder or argument. School problems, that's very common. Aggressiveness, hyperactivity, they can't sit still. Low self-esteem, they tend not to feel as good as other kids. They're comparing themselves to other kids unfavorably. Overly emotional, that's anger, excitability, or crying that comes out of nowhere, or just the opposite, no emotions at all. It's almost like you can slice up a puppy in front of them and they wouldn't flinch. I've seen it be that extreme. Now, resentful parents can make children feel disregarded, untrusting, powerless, inadequate, or unlovable, and like burdens to their parents. Uh, very often children in uh, homes where there's chronic resentment or anger will, will report feeling like their children, their parents love them, but they feel like burdens to them. Now, modeling. Children learn two crucial life skills from watching their parents. That's emotion regulation and how to behave in love relationships. They don't learn those things in school. They learn them by watching their parents. So how do you want your children to regulate their emotions? Do you want them to get upset like you do? Do you want them to cope with their emotions like you do? And what kind of intimate relationships do you want them to have as adults? Do you want them to have the kind of union that you and your partner have? Because that's most likely what they're going to have if you don't follow the boot camp. Now, adult symptoms of walking on eggshells trouble sleeping. Now, there's three kinds of insomnia. There's uh, near-term insomnia. It's when it takes you a couple of hours to fall asleep, so you toss and turn. A more insidious kind is mid-term insomnia. That's when you go to sleep, but you wake up in the middle of the, middle of the night for a couple of hours uh, and then go back to sleep. And even if you sleep a full eight hours in total, you don't feel very rested the next day, especially in the afternoon, and you're more likely to be irritable and angry. And the third kind is called end-term insomnia. So you know, wake up a couple of hours before your alarm goes off in the morning, and then you get sleepy when it does go off. Uh, typically, uh, chronic resentment and anger leads to worry, anxiety, and then excessive angry outbursts. So there's a, a low-grade anger a lot of the time, but then that leads to high-grade angry outbursts. Obsessions, those are thoughts you can't get out of your mind. Confusion or impaired decision-making. And depression, those are the common symptoms of adult. 
crucial questions to ask yourself and ask them out loud when you're alone. Do I like myself? Am I able to realize my fullest potential? Do my children like themselves? Are they able to realize their fullest potential? Do my loved ones feel safe and secure? Now the goal of the boot camp is to answer a resounding yes to all the above.